Uh, this is 21 times. Um, I uh, I started uh, playing. I started a video and then my my uh, my recorder crashed. So um, you're getting this at the very start of the first game of a tournament I am playing in. Um, so you have not missed any of the game or very very little of the game so far. All right, let's go. Let's see what I've got. I'm missing an orange guru. I'm playing a um, a spread spread deck um, that's very similar to the Coco Haunch Crow, um, and I'll go over it a little bit after the match. Now, obviously, um, can't quite do it before. Um, let's put down that. Go Cynthia. Um, okay, so very important to get. I got two cocos out. I got Warning Guru, and I am going after him. So I'm up against Garbodor. Hopefully it's a baby Garbodor deck. So so this uh, this is, like I said, it's a spread deck. I'm just looking to just spread as much damage as I possibly can. Um, and um, Oh, yeah, it's the alternate art trash lanch. Cool. Um, oh, he's actually doing some damage to me. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. So, definitely gonna Cynthia. Oh, very disappointing. I did not get one of my warp energy. But I did get a Guzma, but Guzma doesn't really help me. Oh wait, my Del Caddy was prized. Um, so let's just go ahead and put down Psychic Lele. Now, what are the chances he's not going to do anything? Let's do this. And I'll put pressure on him at least. So, sorry, you're going to get the uh, the description of the video, the description of the deck after it. <laughs> My apologies for that. I can show you the... Um... Oh, <laughs> I can show you my 13-year-old twins. Here's the deck list. So if you want to pause your video, you can take a look and see what I've got here. I should have counted all of my stuff. That was very... Oh, beautiful. Wonderful. Or do I want to try to? Well, I can switch. And then if I pull the DCE. Oh, great. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to. Um, No target. Um, definitely take the warp energy instruct. See what I get. Oh, good. And force him to put something down or else I win. Force her. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to my opponent. I did not realize. And I, and I know a lot of guys like to have a female avatar up there, but my apologies if you are a woman. I apologize. Okay, Guzma. Fantastic. So if she does not get something out, then you can see the value of warp energy 
So this is very unlike my typical game. <laughs> this is not your normal game, obviously. You know, clearly my opponent bricked. Um, unfortunate. But good, this will give me a chance to show you the list and talk about the deck. <laughs> so, not sure what to say about that. Only 20 lightning. So, okay. So, we'll go to the uh, deck list real quick here. If you want to see it from here, you can go ahead and pause the video, and if you want to see it from this direction, and I'll flip back again, and here's the list again in case you want to look at the list, and I'll post this list as well in the description of the video. Um, so the impetus for this was um, I, I had actually lost like two out of three or three out of four with Coco Honch Grow, and, and it was seeming to me that with Coco Honch Grow, there's a little bit of counter synergy in that. If you KO something that has damage on it, you're actually working against yourself. Um, if you KO something that doesn't have damage on it, great. Hot growth, great. So I decided to go, you know what, let's just, what other spread attackers out there? You know, so I can just do a straight, you know, I'm just going to pour as much damage, put as much energy on you as I possibly can. Um, and it, I realized, oh wait, there's Fan Modem. You know, which it takes three energies, so it's not ideal, but um, it's not impossible. I do attack occasionally, but the bigger value in Fan Rotom is that you know he gives you it gives you that extra. You, you have eight basic Pokemon that can start with a free retreat up top, so um, you can you can see there's value in that. If you start Fan Rotom and you put it up top, you can still develop maybe a Coco on the bench, put the DCE on it, still be able to attack turn one potentially, or turn three, or turn two, whatever, turn four, whatever. You still attack early on in the game. And the problem I was having with Coco Honchkrow was that, you know, or a Guru would get stuck up there, Murkrow would get stuck up there, something would get stuck up there that you can't get out of the active easily. This does that. Now, I do still have two switches in here, and they have been very, very useful. Um, and you can also see the warp energy. <laughs> Extremely useful. I, mean, you, I don't even have to explain it after that last game. Um, so, but the idea is just peanut butter damage all over as much as you possibly can. And then at the end, come in with psycho, Psychic or Fairy Lele, Baby Lele here. I'm using the Fairy one um, because I only have one of the Psychics. Um, so... I originally got Psychic Lele because I was, I've been trying, I first tried this similar deck to this with Garbodor, GRI Garbodor, um, but that didn't seem to be working out too well. Um, so, um, but you can see here, Rescue Stretcher can pull something out of the, uh, I mean, frequently, like a lot of times, there have been games where I've put Psychic Lele down, like turn, you know, when I have like four or three prize cards left and then they use my Psychic Lele. Or Fairy Lily, excuse me. And then I can pull it out of the rescue stretcher later on. Um, but, I mean, that's just, it's like a distraction. Because if they KO something that doesn't have energy attached to it, that just makes it easier for me. Because the big problem you have with this deck is that sometimes you miss out on an energy attachment. And that just, you gotta, you gotta be spreading damage. Every turn, every turn, even if they only have two Pokemon down, you, know, you gotta still spread some damage. Um, obviously, Shrine of Punishment, um, after this weekend, uh, if you've been watching some of the worlds, uh, you've seen that baby Buzzwall Trash Lynch Garbodor deck that's been terrorizing GX Pokemon. Um, it's, it's, I mean, there's, if you've been watching, there's tons of Buzzwall, tons of Zoroark. And then tons of this. I mean, they're they're seem to be equally represented. Um, there's not as much Rayquaza, although I have seen some Rayquaza. I saw a Zygarde deck today, but so this is the deck that I've got. Um, I am experimenting a little bit with Tate and Liza, so I'm going to study Copycat after rotation. It's my feeling 
that copycat's going to get you something like five and a half cards. So getting five cards with Tate and Liza may be more beneficial because you can also use it as a switch. So, but that's my feeling. I don't know. We'll see how copycat does post-rotation. All right, so there is the deck. Um, how are things going here? Oh, other people are still in. Well, I will take this opportunity to plug pokedexcentral.com. Um, I got, like I said, I've got a day one worlds update. I'm going to do a day two worlds update. Um, tonight or tomorrow, so you can get a good idea of what's going on there, just from what I've seen on streams, what the announcers have said. So um, I've watched like uh, somewhere between two and three hours today. It's on right now. I'm doing this Saturday night, like it's finishing up now, but I feel like playing, you know. So I'll watch it, give you a summary. Um, I also got a, I gotta check this, got a uh, article from Phototaxia from Max the other day. Uh, very interesting with Electro GX. So definitely something to check out there. It's, 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 going, it's a deck that's going to be expanded um, only in about a week, but it's still worth kind of checking it out. Dragon Majesty set preview. Um, I did this the other day, and then of course like the next day, um, Explosive Impact. All the cards from that dropped, um, which they probably should have just called, just went ahead and called it the, the Lost Zone expansion set. Um, but, you know, Dragon Majesty is going to be standard legal in less than two weeks. Um, so this gives you an idea of what's going on with that. Um, there are no universal cards. Like, like, there were tons of universal cards. You know, cards that can help out any deck um, coming out of, um, that were coming out of uh, Celestial Storm. There are zero in uh, Dragon Majesty. So, um, but, you know, we've also got, Good, you know, Coco Honchgro, good deck. Uh, Swaylock Garbodor, really, against, this is an auto win. This is an auto win against a lot of decks that are out there right now. It's, it's, it's this is what you see from, from the meta. And this is my biggest complaint about the meta, is that it's like there's this, there are three decks right now that are tier one. And it's just the idea that there are other decks out there that could be good. Well, when you narrow your meta down that much, it's very easy to come up with decks that are very good against these top tier decks. Um, all right, so I'm going to pause the video. I've talked enough, and uh, we'll just get going on the uh, when the next round starts. All right, we're back, and we're heading into round two. Okay, so I have the advantage. So let's see what we got here. All right, I'm going to start with Coco. Warren Guru. And I really don't want to put both Psychic Lillard on the bench, but I'll put one of them. So the ideal start, you want to you want to get two, um, Mewtwo EX. I wonder if this is going to be Mega Mewtwo. So, oh, this is going to be a really tough one for me because of damage change. Oh, this is going to be really hard. I am probably going to lose this one. Very disappointing. Um, okay, good. So I can put up the shrine. I'm not going to mail I'm going to set you. So your ideal setup, you want to have two Cocos, two Warring Guru. I'm going to throw away um, Panrotom and Mallow, and I'm going to grab, let's 
Let's see what I got here. Looks like I'm missing Skitty. I'm going to grab another Coco. I am also missing Energy. Um, this is less than desirable. Didn't get the DCE. So I played one Cynthia, another in hand. Missing a Guzma, missing a, maybe missing a Malo, missing a counter, missing a DC. Well, that's why I didn't pick him up. Missing a warp. Okay. Oh, less than desirable. So let's put that on there since. It's not doing me any good. Might as well put it there. Cool, so I can mallow and get a DCE. And um, maybe even another shrine. So it just depends. Um, if he puts down multiple Pokemon, but right now this is not looking good. Oh, good, another Oranguru. So I can straight up Mallow for a. That was a really good top deck. DCE and a Shrine. Attach the DCE, put up the shrine, and then I can instruct again. Having double Warren Guru, double Coco, this is really the ideal setup here. Then I have a counter for next time, so I'm sure I'll use that. Flying flip. Not doing much, but um just wait and see. Because he can't use damage change yet. Um, so we're going to see if he's just going to try to get cute. Go on. So what? What I've done a number of times. Um, you saw last game with the Orange Guru high loaded. Usually it's with Tapu Koko because what most people don't realize is that Tapu Koko has a second, second attack of electric. So like there have been a couple games with like Baby Buzzwall and um, one was a Tapu Lele, uh, one was with Sceptile. They just left one of one Pokemon up. They thought they were going to get cute. Well, I'm not going to spread enough. Well, guess what? Um, I hit Baby Buzzwall twice with Flying Flips, and then I did 100 with Electric Ball. And that was it. So hopefully I can do a similar thing here. I don't know. So, counter energy, Cynthia. So, he took a prize card there. Okay. So, there's. I can put down another Coco. I'm going to nest ball. Um, for another Coco. Cool. Flying flip. Okay, so it's Toxapex, Mewtwo EX, Damage Change Mewtwo, which you can't use yet. Oh, and then Ultra Necrozma GX. Cool. So 80, 1640. Um, I may just... Um, I may just use Tapu Lele here next. All right. So if I Tapu, I can take out Mew to EX. 
the other option I have is trying to get stall. But I don't know if stall is a really good idea. Let's put up Tapu Lele. So I definitely have enough damage on the board. All right. So what do I want to do here? Do I want to dump the other shrine? I want the Guzma. Well, let's get rid of the Guzma. So my Skitty was prized. That is less than desirable. Lele out. Hmm. So how many damage, how many energy do I have down here? I have both my DC and that. So I'm going to lose. So that's less than desirable, but I'm losing another energy. You're going to magical swap there. Hopefully I counted this right. Just enough. Um, we'll put the 10 over on the 10 that are left over on Ultra Cosmos. This is a big thing to realize with Shrine. He's picking up 10 more coming back. So I don't want to put that 10 on B2 EX. I'm going to put it over on Ultra Cosma. And then, good. So he never got to use damage change, which is good. He will hopefully KO me here. So I can use the counter energy. Oh, but I don't know if he KOs me. Hmm. Oh, great. Total shelter means I can put Orin Guru up. I can Guzma up. Malamar. Good, 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 good. Um, there's no problem putting the fan rotor down. So, flying clip. So, hopefully, it doesn't pull Guzma. Because I am in some trouble if he does. That's true, he could psychic reach. No, he can only psychic recharge onto the bench. So, good. Kind of wish he had a stadium to knock off my stadium so I could free up that space. I'm not used to one stadium sitting up there for the entire game. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be able to flying flip again. So this is good. Okay, Guzma, so I'll be able to Guzma him up. So I'll be able to Guzma Malamar back up next time. 
hopefully I'll get a DCE or counter energy. Whew, I have three. So I have five. I have four, one out there, so I have four left and 24 cards. Alright, so Toxapex. Pokemon Center Lady, of course. Jeez, Pete's. Oh, he's going to try the Flip-Teeny method. And that failed. Oh, beautiful. I can Guzma, our friend Malamar, back up again. Play the counter energy. Sometimes you got to be careful playing the counter energy, uh, but I do already have the fairy energy on Lele. I'm going to have a Mallow for next turn as well. So I am in pretty good shape here. How much time is left? I got five and a half. He's seven and a half. I need four more prize cards. I do not have enough damage yet. Okay, Ninja Boy. Who's he going to move into? Is he going to move into a single prize card? Okay, interesting. Cool. So I still don't have enough damage to use Fairy Lily. Yeah, Fairy Lily. Okay, so good. So I will KO him. And... So I'll KO him, and he'll have in my good, 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 good. I'm just thinking, do I want to try to move the damage around now? But I don't think so. I think. This is my best idea or not. Hmm. I have four minutes left. Let's magical swap. Hmm. So I'm definitely moving everything off of Malamar onto. Lunala Prism and Toxapex. don't know if this is my best idea or not. And I only have three and a half minutes left. Okay, so he's going to retreat. He's going to attack me. Prize cards are even. Now, 
what do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, I definitely switch out into here. I can't electric ball, but I can fly and flip. And next turn I will have enough to move damage onto Toxapex. Three minutes left, I gotta move it. going to be tight. Fortunately, I have three prize cards left. Okay, so he's going to Ninja Boy again from the Crossman GX into something else. Maybe into Mewtwo EX. Maybe it's another Mewtwo EX. Okay. So, it is very tempting to Oh, he might have just given me the game. If I spread again, so right now I have 190. I could stall for a second and think for a second here. Um, 192 10, so I definitely can KO. Yeah, I think I can get them both. I think I got this. Magical swap. Take one there. I think I'm going to have just enough. He's 115, 150, right? All right. And we have 20 more coming around the bend, so that's good. Not sure why he put down Mr. Mime. I think he's regretting that at this point. Um, I gotta book it. I have less than two minutes left. And it takes time to move all of these damage counters. But I think I'm in okay shape. This is one of the rare times where it takes longer to do PTCGO than to do reality. Because in reality, it would take about five seconds to move all these damage counters. Cool. I'm going to win just about a minute. This is going to be close. Good. Whew. I don't blame my opponent for hanging out on that one because that was that was pretty close. It took a long time to move all those damage counters. Definitely need to remind remember that going into the third round of this tournament. All right. 
right, so I have the advantage. Round three. I always consider this kind of like the playing with house money round because I've already won two tournaments and I've already won four packs. I'm already in good shape. <laughs> Starting out with Coco and DC turn one. Yeah. All right. Oh, another Coco. So my skitties there, I'm missing Northern Groove. Got both my Coco out. Both of those. Both of them. Got Del Caddy. Two or two. I'm missing a nest ball. Two switch. Missing an ultra ball. Missing a shrine. Missing two Cynthia. All right. Put the DC on the one below. Put out Shrine. Um, Tate and Miser. Do I have Mallow? I have Mallow. That's right, I'm missing the one. So now for Coco. And one of my Cynthia's. All right, so let's see how we do against uh, Shiftry. So Underground Expedition does not seem like a particularly great card, but and great. Interesting. I have no idea what he even does. Oh. Wow. That's really going to help him out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to play Guzma. And I'm going to throw off the effect of that attack. Which is probably going to greatly disappoint him. So, in case you don't know, um, the effect of an attack only holds if your Pokemon remains in the active position. If your opponent plays Guzma, moves your active moves the active Pokemon down onto the bench, all effects drop off, and therefore he was. I was able to um, attack him. Oh, I would really, really, really like to get Guzma again and Guzma that Galissapod up. That Wimpot. That would make me very, very happy. So, you have not seen this deck at its best. You didn't see me beat Rayquaza. You didn't see me beat Zoroark Garbodor. You didn't see me beat um, Baby Buzzwall Garbodor. Um, you haven't seen me beat uh, a lot of the really good decks that are out there right now. So <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, do that. And then Lion Flip. To get to that nine game winning streak, <laughs> I had to beat decks that were a lot better than the decks that I have faced here in the tournament. Alright, so there's 
Delisopod. Um, he won't be attacking this turn. All right, so I'm going to put the DC down on Coco. Um, there's not really anything else I want to go do here. Um, I'm just going to take the prize card, put an additional 20, 30 damage, including the shrine. So, so I'm sure he's going to hit me. The retreat cost on uh, Trico here's one. He still has not played a. Oh, he played that underground expedition. That's the only supporter he's played. Uh, sorry for your. Now I am kind of working against myself here, but I'm going to Guzma. Um, that'll throw off the effect. There. And I just I don't need anything else right now. I'm just going to continue to pour damage onto the board. Oh, you know what I should do? I should put um, I should have put that on Orin Guru. Oh, good. Just put on Sept. So I'm going to put Fairy Lele down, just because I have it, I'm going to put the Fairy Energy on her. Um, throw it away. These two guys, um, no targets. There's nothing I can put down, so I'm just going to instruct for one, see what I get. Um, I've already played. Let's just Cynthia see what I get. Okay, switch. Do I want to switch anything out? No. I got Skitty. That's good. I can put Skitty down next time. I'm just going to blind flip. Just continue to spam damage. I might be able to... Uh, Actually, take out the Golisopod next time. So I am in a good position in that. So 190. So he's got 150. Oh, he'd be just a little bit short. So we're gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna spam some damage. Definitely want to put down Skitty. How many? Oh, good. Yeah, I'm just going to put this other one down there. I'm not really worried about it. Um, got a Mallow. For the DCE. And then for Dow Caddy, I may want to bring something up with Guzma. Yeah, it's alright. The Bomb of Snow. Okay, so get 
We're going to do this. The DC. I'm just going to throw these two away. And I'm just going to grab the Del Caddy. Yuzma and Mallow. Guzma. How much damage does this guy do? Oh, I don't like that. We'll just bring him up there. Play the switch. Struct. So I got a plan here. We'll see if it works. Acrobike. Counter energy. Definitely. So what most people don't realize is that again, Tapu Koko has that second attack electric ball. So the minute I drop down to three prize cards, I'm hitting for 100 damage. So I'm going to take out Golisopod here on the flip side. And Obama Snow as well. And he'll be down to one prize card. Stretcher or Coco, just so I have a free retreater. Oh, but I'm not trailing it. It's right, um, but I can still fly and flip. And then um, Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna mellow. Um, a Guzma and a DC. Construct. All right, so um, my Oranguru will Oko Obama Snow. My Oranguru will Oko either of them, so I think I'm in good shape. Okay, woke up. So now I just retreat into Oranguru. And we're just going to do this the old fashioned way and just straight up take prizes. Is this to the amount of energy attached to all my players? So he's going to KO me. Oh, great. That was wonderful. Oh, maybe not. Um, 
What's my energy count here? Three DC. How many DC? But I'm out of all of my DC. Super. energy attaching that to orange grow. All right. Well, that's fine. So at least I can now ferry Lily and just win the game. All right, so <laughs> not the typical games that I have here, but you could see how, uh, you know, again, Shrine of Memories, like I've been saying, Shrine of Memories is making GX Pokemon unplayable. And I'm just going to straight up retreat. To Fairy Lily, Magical Swap, and good game. Definitely a scrappy play by my opponent. Um, and that's the win. Um, highly recommend this. Um, it's very well poised right now. Um, I didn't see any Buzzwall, didn't see any Zora work. <laughs> You know, but uh, you, you've seen here what it can do. I mean, the theory mod is there. The theory mod is there. If you're playing Buzzwall, if you're playing Zoroark, if you're filling up your... I mean, Zor, it's not like Zoroark's not going to fill up its bench. You know, it's not like he's only going to play down one Zoroark. <laughs> you know, it's just... So. All right, so that was a good win. I'll show you the deck list again. I'll post it. I will definitely post um, the deck list with the video. The theory mod is good. Um, it's not like people aren't going to be playing GXs. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Let me know if you try this out. Let me know if you have a similar success to it. Um, I have noticed in a number of posts that I've made where I've said, you know, GX is making GX try to memories and making try to try to punishment is making GX Pokemon unplayable. People are like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, that's such a broad statement. You know, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> I am now officially on a 12 game winning streak. I had a 10 game winning streak with Coco Hunch Group. Uh, I just, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. You know, this is, we're going to look back on this in the next few years and say, wow, trying to punishment was broken. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, take care.